Book one of Utopia is subtitled, First book of the discussion, which the exceptional man Raphael Hithloday held concerning the best state of a commonwealth by way of the illustrious man Thomas More, citizen and undersheriff of the glorious city of London in Britain. So simple, it just rolls right off the tongue. Now, book one is narrated by a fictionalized version of Thomas More, Utopia's author. He describes a journey he takes to Bruges in Flanders, modern-day Belgium, for a meeting on behalf of King Henry VIII, then to Antwerp to meet up with his friend Peter Giles. Peter introduces Thomas More to his friend, Raphael Hithloday. Raphael is a traveler who joined Amerigo Vespucci in his voyages to the New World. Raphael describes the customs and behaviors of the people he met, as well as his negative feelings about royal courts where favoritism and politics are more important than wisdom. This type of behavior he's seen in England. Raphael describes to Peter and Thomas a dinner he had with the king, a cardinal, and members of the court where a discussion came up about the punishment of thieves by death. Raphael believes such punishment is much too harsh and wouldn't stop men from stealing, but that good provisions should be put in place in order to deter that crime. Raphael then describes to them Persians who force thieves to work for the public good for free or for a private individual at a lower fee than would be ordinarily paid. As a result, Raphael claims men are seeing the necessity of being honest. Members of the court make fun of Raphael's ideas, but the cardinal decides to restate them as his own. Now, with the cardinal accepting these ideas, the whole court expresses agreement. Raphael hates this. This is why Raphael refuses to use his wisdom as a member of the king's court. Thomas and Peter argue with Raphael, saying no court in the world is made up of entirely good men, and it's better to improve the situation as it stands than to hope for a perfect nation. But Raphael replies that there really is such a perfect nation. He visited it in the New World. Thomas and Peter ask Raphael to tell them about this place after dinner. Book one is Thomas More's intriguing mixture of real and imaginary people and places. The real author did in fact travel the world and was friends with Peter Giles. Raphael, however, is an imaginary character and so are almost all the places he describes. The ideas expressed by Raphael are a combination of Moore's own ideas and political satire. The Persians he mentions live in an imaginary province, and the countries of South America he describes, and Utopia, are non-existent places. The real Thomas More, many years later, was put to death for being too forthright and too dedicated to his own ideals. This very real consequence suggests perhaps Raphael's ideas are closest to the real Thomas More's.